All right, guys, let's get right to it. We got some more Talon grips in. This time we have the Pro Grip, which is a mixture of sandpaper and rubber. And then we have the straight granulated, which feels like sandpaper completely. Uh, we're gonna mix and match the two, like we did on the last video. I kinda like mix matching the Talon grips, but we're gonna put them on the Glock 26 this time. Uh, last video we did the Glock 43, but this is my favorite gun. This is my personal carry right here. This is my Glock 26. This is my favorite gun. I've shot with every type of handgun possible known to man, and I keep coming back to the Glock 26, all right? This is the 10, mile, um, 10 round magazine, plus one, 11. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Even when my hand is sweating, um, I still don't have too many problems with the Glock 26, even with sweaty hands, but I just love the Talon grip so far. I'm gonna put them on here. Really loving the Talon grips. Uh, if you know anything that's better than Talon, let me know. Right now I'm loving Talon. Uh, this is what you get in the package. Uh, Talon grips out of Colorado. And as you can see, I ordered the Pro and the granulate, uh, boo, granu, granulate. What is that, granulate? Oh, okay. But anyway, $19.99 for that one and $24 for the Pro. $52 total. They give you some cleaning alcohol, a little sticker. A little thank you, Charles, Charlie. Some people call me Charles, some people call me Charlie. Um, but uh, there we go. So this is what we're gonna use. We got the blow gun. I did use the blow gun the last time. I just didn't do it in the video. Um, just need some scissors. It, this stuff cuts real good with scissors. And so we're gonna use that instead of the exacto knife. And we're gonna get started. All right, guys, let's get ready. We ain't gonna take too long on this video. The first video with them back straps. I mean, with the first video with them, uh, them grips was kind of long. But uh, we're gonna move this a little quicker here. Hey, shout out to that guy in Arizona, man, that had his CWP uh, concealed weapon. Well, no, he didn't. He was constitutional carrying. Uh, he was. Um, he was doing constitutional carrying, so he didn't have his CWP inside that mall. I think it was in Arizona. He went in there and shot the guy. The guy, unfortunately, killed three people, but uh, he was able to go in and take care of business, and he needed 10 shots uh, to put him down, so that's why we got to be careful about our rights being taken and violated from us. But anyway, we'll probably do a separate video on that, just shouting him out, thanking him for that. So uh, a lot of people's lives were saved because people had guns to protect themselves and others. Guy was sitting in the, in the uh, food court basically eating with his girlfriend and he saved countless others from being killed. But anyway, let's get started. Uh, Glock 26 here. We're gonna go ahead and see the gun is empty. Put nothing in the bag. We're gonna leave the mag on though because, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean my hands up. Let's go ahead, we're gonna make this about a five minute little video. We're just gonna make this about a little five minute video. I'm gonna clean the little area that we know we're gonna have some adhesion on. We got that back strap there. Uh, I'm gonna take the extras and do the mags with the pinky extension on it. Just gonna clean that up real good. We're gonna probably put sandpaper on the front, sandpaper on the back, sandpaper on the outside, and on the inside, we'll probably do, well, we'll do the rubberized, softer material on the inside. That way, if you're wearing inside the waistband, it won't be as tough as that sandpaper. So we got that clean. Uh, clean. We're gonna go ahead and pause the video, let that dry real quick. Now I already know I holster with my left side, so I already know I want this soft rubberized material right here. Because when you dig in your hand, it'll when you dig in your hand inside your clothing in your waistband, it'll be rubbing on this soft material instead of this harder material here. So all I want this soft material 
is about right here. I'm going to cut it right here. I don't want it in the front and I don't want it in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and get my scissors here. And like I said, guys, we ain't got to be perfect toe. I'm going to try to make it a little neater this time. Some of y'all little neat freaks. We're going to do this inside. And we probably going to stop it about right. I want as much front grip as possible. Let's get it right here. Let's cut out a little anger. There we go. And, and look, these little pieces you can use for other stuff, guys. Like, you know, these little pieces. Don't throw away your little pieces. You can put them on your triggers, front, whatever. Grip is grip. You need as much grip as possible. All right, that look good right there. That look good. And I do have a back strap on here, guys. So let's trim that a little bit more here. Let's trim that a little more. You ain't gonna be able to tell once we put that heat on. Once we put that heat on. How that look? IWB. Inside waistband. Alright, that look good, D. Eh? That look good, D. Eh? Let's put that about right, D. Eh? Could have cut that a little bit right there. I don't like the way that look there. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Oh, I can't get him. I can't get him. Let's pause the video. All right, we got it on here. Let's put a little heat to it. Going here hot, boy. Don't need too much. I don't need too much, day. I should have trimmed that a little better there. But yeah, we good. Press down up and now. We ain't gonna have you on here too long. I feel good. So that's that soft rubberized. That's that rubber. Just that soft rubber and granulate mix. All right, not as hard as this, but it's gonna be inside the waistband. It still got good grip, all right? And now we're gonna do the front here. We're gonna do the rest of it with the uh, sandpaper. So I'm gonna, I know I want the back and I want the side. And we're gonna have to cut. Cut this off. You gotta be perfect. And we'll say that we'll have some material left. Damn, did I cut the wrong one? Oh, no, I did. I'm about to say, damn, I'm sweating in this garage. We might have to trim a little bit. I ordered the medium. No, that'll work. That'll work. Okay. All right, let me pause while I take this tape off. All right. Let's go ahead and do this side here. You gotta be perfect, y'all. That Glock 26. I like the way it looks in person too, guys. It looks real. It's a beautiful reflection. Kind of like a car with a metallic paint job in person. That granulated. Granular, I'm saying it wrong. I don't know what it is. Granular. Press it down in there. Then we got to do that front. Is that cricket? 
Put a little heat on her. You gotta be perfect, y'all. Gotta be so perfect. Hurt my finger, boy. Oh, man. Damn, I ain't got the fan on in this damn desk. I don't want that fan to be in the video. Hold on. Mm. I'm sweating like a black man out of child, child support here. <laughs> Y'all get mad at that. Y'all get mad at that. I ain't see that. Why he say that? White people pay child support too. You know that. I'm a black man, so I just talk shit about black people. But anyway, I love everybody. All right, that look good, guys. Now we just got to do that front. Just put a little piece right here. I might peel this off camera and straighten this up a little bit. I might peel this so I can have a nice look. Might cut you back on. I don't want to take up too much video with that. Pause it right quick. I remember the last time, last gun I did, I did peel it off and restick it, and it did good. There you go. That's much better there. That's a little bit oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Got to be a better way than to blow dry your hand. Got to be a better way. Then the heat dry your hand, the heat, the heat up your hand. Okay. All right, now, take me a little material. How much material we need? Oh, guys, that's so beautiful in person. I wish you guys could see it in person. So beautiful. Oh, shit, cut my damn finger. Who they're coming? Somebody else. Oh, okay, good. Oh, you wanna have some nails, man? Stop eating up your nails, boy. Y'all stop biting your nails to death. Get you some crypto. You're biting your nails, mean you're broke. You got pressure, stress. Get you some crypto a little bit at a time. Oh, hell, I should have cut that a little bit. Uh. Let's cut this. Oh. Love these talon grips, man. I love them. <clears throat> you ain't got talon grips, man. You ain't got nothing, man. We don't do too much to our personal carry guns, man, for legal reasons. Um, well, I don't anyway. I don't do anything to my guns, but for bare necessity, I don't mess with the triggers on my personal carry guns. I don't mess with uh, internals. I don't do none of that with my personal carry gun. If you have to go to court and you fighting for your life because you're trying to prove self-defense, man, you don't want to look like somebody out here who was just trying to beef your gun up to the point to where you get you some goddamn vigilante justice out here, man. All the guns I buy, except for my um, sports rifles, and we got to stop calling them assault rifles, guys. Stop calling them assault rifles, sports rifles. My handguns are just for self-defense for me and my family. We don't do no bells and whistles. We don't do no, no scopes or no damn uh, infrared, nothing. Nothing. We don't do none of that. Just the grips, and I might, you know, and I always change my sights out. I don't put no optics on here. I don't put no red dots in that. But anyway, guys, that's it. And uh, I got some extra material. To do some mag stuff, we'll do that. But that's it, guys. Glock 26. Ooh, that thing is still warm. Feels good. But that's it, man. I'm loving these grips. All right, y'all. We about finished. Everything's empty. All right. So we got it about finished. I did the mag right here on the side. Put the rough material on the outside of the mag soft material on the inside but I got one more I'm gonna do when I hold my gun I like the rest of my finger right here one of my fingers this is my grip for my Glock 26 this is how I do it 
This is how I shoot. And I have my thumb here. That's my cuff. I cuff my hand when I'm shooting. With two hands, this is my Glock 26 grip. So I'm gonna put a little piece right here. If you can see. We're gonna do that real quick. And that'll be it for here. And that'll be it. I've already cut out the little pattern here that I'm gonna put. Cut a little hole in it with the hole punch. I have some hole punches, so all I did was just hit it here with a hammer. I'm gonna put that right there. And that'll be it. Yeah, it cuts real easily. And that looks good. Well, you got to do yours how you how you feel to do yours if you do this with any type of grip. Everybody's going to be different. You know, everybody's going to be a little different, so. And this is the hard um, sandpaper. Granular. So, boom, man, that feels good. And like I said, I've never had any problems with my Glock 26 with sweaty hands with a whole bunch of shooting, but hopefully this will make it even better. So, that's it, peace.